The Flash is a student form for students produced by students. Students make all content decisions, research, write, shoot, and broadcast news stories they deem important to the Eastview community. Stay tuned for The Flash. Thanks for tuning into The Flash today, everyone. We have a great show for you today, highlighting some new and improved technology, a very unique student that has overcome many obstacles, and a movie review. Stay tuned, Eastview. Advanced technology can be pretty hard and expensive to access at times, but Eastview gives us a way. Cohout has more. The Learning Commons, a place for reading, writing, and now creating. So you're in the Zap Lab, and this is our, our makerspace. The idea of a makerspace is that all students have access to hands-on learning, especially around technology. The area has two 3D printers and an axi draw, but even the finest technologies still require a human touch. I'm, I just help out. I like to print stuff. He showed a real interest in learning how to use a 3D printer and has advanced into the point where he pretty much keeps our lab running. Just saw it one day. Uh, one of these signs were up, 3D printer, free print, up to 10 hours, two of them. And I was like, hey, why not? He's here most days before and after school and students know that they can ask him for help. This is an axi draw. It draws stuff for you. So if you have bad handwriting like me. But we really want anyone who has some general interest and so the training is very basic. A 15 minute training whenever you're free during a study hall before or after school. We are just really trying to provide a lot of opportunity for students and something that is simple enough for everyone to use and accessible to everyone. Signing off for The Flash, this is Jack. I can't believe we actually have a 3D printer. Sometimes we see students in the halls, but we don't know their stories. Flash reporter CJ introduces us to an ECU student. Rose Simon, an ECU sophomore, has a disability known as deaf blind. Deaf blindness is just as it sounds, just when a person is deaf and blind at the same time. When people think of deaf blindness, it's not always they're totally deaf or totally blind. They can be somewhere in between and the communication styles will change depending on each individual. Tim works one-on-one -on -one with Rose as her intervener. Um, as her intervener, um, I'm just with her throughout the day, making sure I facilitate that communication with her and other people, have it be other students, have it be uh, the classroom teacher or any administrator out in the building. I just am there with her to use the language that she does have to help her communicate what she's feeling or what she's going to be doing in the day. If you're going to come up and greet her um, in the hallway or say hi, um, for her, her deaf blindness is very simple. You, just, you can come up and you just rub her on the arm and she knows that that's somebody saying hi or greeting her that way. Tim and Rose have a busy schedule. So if you see them in the hall, make sure to say hi. Signing out for The Flash. This is CJ. It's amazing to meet such incredible students here at Eastview, and Rose is one of them. Yeah, she sure does have a great smile. Marky, have you heard of some of the new movies coming out? I haven't. Well, Jack can tell you all you need to know about up and coming movies. Hey guys, my name's Jack Mason, and I'm here to count down my top three upcoming movies of 2017. In the number three spot, it goes to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I chose this movie because it is the next movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The first one was a 2014 hit, and the second one comes back with the same characters, but it takes you on a whole new adventure. This movie comes to a theater near you on May 5th. In the second place spot is The Fate of the Furious. I chose this movie because it is the eighth movie in the Fast and Furious series. This movie looks to have some great action and even better cars. This movie comes to theaters near you on April 13th, so you don't have to wait much longer to go see it. In the number one spot, I had to choose no other than the movie It. This movie is based off the classic Stephen King novel. This movie is about a kid played by Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things who then disappears and gets possessed by a clown in the city's sewer system. 
I feel that this movie will definitely top the charts for horror movies in 2017. This movie comes to theaters in early September, so you have plenty of time to go back and watch the original before the new one comes out. I hope you enjoy my second edition of Jack's Movie Countdowns. Signing off for The Flash, this is Jack. I can't wait to go out and get my movie tickets now. Marky, don't you know it's bad luck to go under a ladder? Stay tuned for the credits, Eastview. Hey, uh, Phil. Whoa, whoa, Jack, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Whoa, going under wires is bad luck. That's just an old wives' tale, Phil. Bad luck. <laughs> Okay, Google. How do you fix bad luck? No. No.